You are now listening to the Morning Buzz here on 90.3 WMSC, Upper Montclair, except it is World College Radio Edition, you guys. Happy World College Radio to everybody out there. Let's begin with the Morning Buzz. I am your host, Lara Zuccardi, and join with me in studio is Gabby Lutz and Amanda Gediosi. Over Zoom on the other side, we have Isaiah Ramirez. Hi, Isaiah. And then outside... We have Leslie Gallagher, Victor Muniz, and JT Bathia. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Excuse on- me? Yeah, Leslie? I'm not JT Bathia. I said Leslie Gallagher. Don't get sick. I- I- <laughs> guys, I want to confirm that Leslie's hair is currently on fire. It's pink. For those of you who Red. cannot see on Zoom, it is indeed pink. It is pink. But what? tomato, tomato, I say. I say have- red. I we look like a tomato. No, you don't look like no, a tomato. No, you look like a um I meant that in a good way. I love tomatoes. That's um, a what? That's a pink thing. Like cotton candy, maybe. Yeah, cotton mm-hmm. candy. Yeah. Cotton candy? Yeah. I don't know. Cotton candy's too light of a color though. Cotton candy's got like blue and like purple in it. It's got like it's a bunch the color of different of colors. Cotton candy when cotton candy gets wet, you know? And that it's just like the sugar. What does that even mean? Ew. That's gross. <laughs> That's the color though. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Yeah, Where's the tears? There's no tears. <laughs> that was my, I tried to force one out. It's Does like, it for you? throw back to Laura Lee pushing one out for her apology video. Oh my God. But we're not hard. here to talk about Laura Lee. We're here to talk about World College Radio Day. Because <laughs> today is such a special Ooh. day around the world for college stations. And how did that become a thing? Let's find out. <laughs> tell us, Laura. <laughs> I will tell you. I will gladly tell you. Don't worry. So the aim of College Radio Day is to bring together hundreds of thousands of college radio listeners and stations throughout the world and to celebrate the important contribution of college radio by uniting for this one day. The organizers also hope that college radio can also be used as a opportunity for individual stations that choose to participate for this amazing day. Being a participant in this day is free, which is cool. For college and high school radio stations, AM, FM, or online, so that together for one day, we can lift the profile of an important form of of media, which is college radio. College Radio Day is a celebrate, a day of celebration. It's a day of live music and special interviews and the day college, and it's a day that all of us come together around the world. And here at WMSC, we have a bunch of fun things planned for you today. And we are so excited to get to all those things. Mm-hmm. But but we have some news to get to first. We have to stay informed. Wow. Inform us. Um, guys, not to like panic everyone. I know the, the vibes are nice. Everyone's relaxed. Everything's cool. But we might die today. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> President Joe Biden said Thursday that the risk of nuclear Armageddon is at the highest level since the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis. This stems from Russian officials speaking of the possibility of using nuclear weapons after suffering numerous setbacks in the invasion of Ukraine. While speaking at the fundraiser of Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee, President Biden said Russian President Vladimir Putin was, quote, a guy I know fairly well. And he was not joking when he talks about the use of tactical nuclear weapons or biological or chemical weapons. It should be noted it's not clear whether Biden was referring to any new assessments of Russian intentions, but U.S. officials have said that they have seen no change to Russian nuclear forces that would require a change in the alert posture of U.S. nuclear forces. President Biden also added, quote, I don't think there's any such a thing as the ability to easily use a tactical tactical nuclear weapon and not end up with Armageddon. And now Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky also commented on the threat of a nuclear strike, saying that Putin understood that the world would never forgive a Russian nuclear strike. Honestly, all that I really have to say about this story is that the whole theme of no (laughs) is that the whole theme of today is voices for peace. And I find that really just I really just hope that the world becomes a better place. And I'm glad that the theme for today is Voices for Peace because that advocates an, a step towards that. So that's all. I yeah. Think. And I also think um, this is 
it's a i feel like throughout all of our lives at this point there's always been that weird threat of nuclear weapons throughout um and it's a very scary time to be alive and i couldn't imagine what it would be like being directly next to russia or a place like uh, north korea as both of them kind of struggle back and forth with dealing with the constant threat of that um do we need to yeah. change something what's going on pick Deb me Debbie has her hand raised oh. distracting okay. me. so i just wanted to say that i found out yesterday that the government only has to give a 10 minute warning if there is um a threat of nuclear weapon huh. mm. well, we'll or nuclear see. missiles okay so, can we can we be honest though you think they would even give us 10 minute warning i feel like it would be like uh, three minutes like they'd be like listen but guys they, they have to give us a 10 minute warning and that's it wow like, are bad <laughs> 10 minutes of yeah, the last that 10. Would be bad anxiety man like yeah minutes? yeah i found that out yesterday you know and, what you guys the glass is half full. It's World College Radio Day. Yeah, I think we should focus on the fact that a nuclear weapon hasn't been launched yet. So, and we right haven't side, gotten a ten-minute warning. Yet. We're all alive. Program's still going. Victor's outside. I mean, nothing better than that, man. Victor and Ben are outside, and they're wearing matching WMSC hoodies. Ben, Queen and Ben, King Victor. Queen he doesn't ben. even have his headphones on. How unprofessional! Really what How in the rude. world? I want to turn. I honestly want to try to turn this fader on and see if things happen try Ugh. it's on nothing's happening nothing oh that's so boring Lordy lord anyway so sad. this fun. is so boring that that was just so boring me i need to learn i need to know what's going on with trump and january 6 oh <laughs> that i i feel like you need to take a lap take a lap man that was good let lord. her run around the studio real quick <laughs> That's what WMSC is. Hold on, can someone Google what WMSC in Greek would was make? Ben, was he to not <laughs> listen to Google everything or... we just said? Oh, awesome. there's a gigantic <laughs> chopper being really loud. In Greek I'm happy letters. to see it from in studio, the helicopter. That made me happy. Helicopter. The lovely people of WMSC are dancing outside. We are going to kick it back in studio. Thank you to Ben and Victor for reporting live outside the school of calm with the chopper. And I love the one of you on chopper. That's why we're here. And oh, this I gotta turn your mics on. Hello, lovely people in my <laughs> in the studio. Hello. It's a me. I'm on Chris Pre uh, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everyone, the first trailer for the new animated Mario movie has made by Illumination and Nintendo has dropped and feelings are mixed. But before we get into the details right here at the station, we had a bunch of us watching the trailer on the TV in our office and I saw a little end of it and I got to say quite interesting. But the trailer began with our first look at Jack Black as Bowser said he navigates a ship on making its way to an ice castle belonging to penguins who first appear in the classic Mario game Super Mario 64. Adds a comedic banner between a bunch of penguins and Bowser and you get a nice chuckle. So far, nothing too crazy and you could tell Jack Black attempted not to sound like Jack Black. But sadly, the trailer continued, and we got to see Chris Pratt as the cakeless ma Italian plumber <laughs> Mario. Mario lands out of a green pipe into the marvelous Mushroom Kingdom. Then we hear quite possibly the worst voice acting I've ever heard. This could quite possibly one of the most disturbing forms of acting I've ever seen. Oh, wow. Nothing about it made any sense at all. Chris Pratt literally changed nothing from his voice to even attempt to mimic Mario. It will be interesting to see how the internet and Mario fanatics react to other stars in the movie, including Charlie Day as Mario's brother Luigi, Anna Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach, Keegan-Michael oh. Key as Toad, and Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. Okay. This new movie is set to hit theaters on April 7th, 2023. I need to talk about the fact that, yes, why is Chris Pratt Mario? For sure. But... Anya Taylor Joy and Seth Rogen. That's all I need. Yeah, but also Charlie Day. Let's not forget, like always, Sunny, like guys killing it nonstop mm -hmm. with the voice yeah. acting. I feel like he's gonna do well. Yeah. But I thought was it Jack Black tied yeah. to this movie as well? I thought. Yeah, no. he's he's Bowser. He's Bowser. Uh, that's that's what we're excited for too. Mm -hmm. Jack. Black. I mean, he's not gonna put down a a mediocre performance. Oh yeah, never. Not Jack. What if Black. he does? Not uh, for never. nothing. Though. How dare you? He does though. <laughs> Have you ever seen Jack Black? Is not there. <laughs> He just put a destiny. I'm just saying, everybody has their flop era at some point. What if this is it? Nope, never. This no. is not Jack no, Black. Not Jack Black. No. Nope. Jack Black is not missed. Jack Black never misses. 
Exactly. Oh my God, Cam, okay. Cam exactly. And joining us from his car. Hi, Cam. Definitely <laughs> safe. Um, hopefully he's looking at the road. Um, nice, 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 nice. I will say, guys, I feel like we need to acknowledge the fact that Mario lost significant weight from the behind of himself. Um, that was a little shameful, and the internet was very angry about it, and rightfully so. He he, he said, "So you think I'm?" <laughs> Oh my goodness! Okay, my question uh, is: Are you guys gonna watch this movie? Um, I, I didn't feel watch like Sonic. I have to. Maybe to make fun. I didn't want for the for the memes. I have to watch it because if, if it makes y'all yeah. upset, it's hilarious. I feel I feel like we should do like a WMSC event, like rent out a theater, and all of us go watch it and together. Watch it, and then we'll talk about the morning runs the next day. That's give a little yeah. honest review. No, yeah, there Listen. you go. Listen, here's the thing. If this one person at WBC, man on the morning bus who hates who hates this movie, it's Joe Joe Verga. Just to make him mad, we gotta watch it. Hundred <laughs> percent. Just out of pure fight. Rent out a theater. We have to put a twenty four seven marathon of just that movie on every TV. Well, here's the thing. So long as it's better than the live action Mario we got from like back in the nineties, I think we're gonna be okay. I, I wouldn't stress it. That. Yep, that that's the thing. Go so. Google it if you want. I just forget it. <laughs> If you want, there was a live action version in the 90s. Listen, listen, yeah, what? I, I, yeah, I, I, I there a, we go. There's I, the reaction. I see the live version. action. Already, already, I see the live action version. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, not it's a good program. It, it's not it's good like, at all. It's wild. It's like dude. my love life. Horrible. Oh, okay, that's a sign to move on. Yes, yes. Entertainment <laughs> story. Ooh, hit me. We got another one. Wow. Um, Tis the seasons, guys. Welcome back to the Morning Buzz here at 90.3 WMSC, Upper Montclair. Oh, Michael, that's so sad because that mic was not on. Joined it's with the Morning Buzz! It is the Morning Buzz. Thank you to our engineering director, Mike Foley. PSA, please to make sure to brush your teeth and thank your engineers. You're welcome! Thank you, Michael and Joe, of course. Anyway, everybody in studio is not here anymore just because... We're they're gonna be on TV, which is really cool, but it's all right because I'm holding the fort down here. It's me, Isaiah, and we have Leslie and the girl <laughs> on the other side. Hi, Isaiah. It's just hi. Me. Hey, um, we're going full podcast mode, huh? Yeah, it is. This is the morning buzz. That's it. Yeah, yeah, dude. Okay, so I think we are doing a disservice if we don't talk about this today. Um, and on pretty much every Monday and Thursday on the episodes of the, of the morning buzz, we love to hand out the most prestigious award the morning buzz can offer. And that's right for this week. We are giving a you a bonus L of the day. And for today's winner, there was only one logical person who could receive this incredible honor. And that person happens to be the most desperate man on earth who has really tried his hardest to seek that good old white validation. That's right, friends. We bring Kanye to the center stage for his tremendous actions this week. And I guess we could start with his white lives matter shirt at paris fashion week that sparked outrage everywhere including everyone's favorite bird app known as twitter but sadly kanye was just getting started as he went ahead and joined fox news to talk to none other than tucker carlson during his conversation with tucker he revealed a lot of information and went on to describe what it's like wearing a maga hat and wearing a white lives matter shirt then this is what he had to say quote they said stuff like uh stuff like people get killed for wearing a hat like that they threatened my life they basically said I would be killed for wearing that hat. I had someone call me last night and said anybody wearing a white Lives Matter shirt is going to be greenlit. And that means only one thing, to beat them up if I wear it. I'm like, you know, okay, greenlight me then. That's the quote. <laughs> Yay was also revealed. Uh, he was pro-life while he rocked a lanyard with an ultrasound. This is real, guys. Uh, EA said to Carlson, quote, it just represents life. I'm pro-life. He also added that 50% of black deaths is abortions not sure where that statistic comes from lastly kanye also said people were saying his career and life would be over for supporting donald trump oh, no and i have a strange feeling this will probably not be the last l of the day handed to our good old friend kanye because this is kind of his thing and according to my sources i fully expect him to be in the mvp conversation for l of the year i think i'm gonna rock a lanyard with an ultrasound on it isn't that like super like stylistic i would rock that yeah <laughs> I think for the morning for the morning buzz, the last morning buzz of the fall semester, we should just come in with those. Absolutely. I think for cool. Halloween, I just might dress up as a giant ultrasound. I think you should. Mm -hmm. Really prove my it's, point. It's funny because 
okay, we're going to get to the whole shirt thing in a hot minute because <laughs> for those of you who don't know my point of view on abortion, I am very much a pro-choice person. But I just got to say, he's a man. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. why, <laughs> why, why do you need your two cents? Well, listen here, Lara. Um, I think from where we come from, what I was taught at growing up, right, is that a man should tell you what to no okay i can't go into that bit i can't i have to stop myself um 100 is one why did he feel the need to do that i think this is a guy constantly seeking attention and i guess he thought hey if i wear this maybe he'll do that but part of me is like he probably believes everything he says at this point because my man's unhinged and someone needs to just be like hey kanye can we just like stop for a little bit like Hi it's there. getting hard to support him i want to know wait my question is, did he wear the White Lives Matter shirt with the ultrasound necklace? <laughs> no, 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 no. He wore the ultrasound necklace in the interview. The White Lives Matter was at Fashion Week. My lord, because I mm -hmm. think if he put if he put those two together, that'd be quite the outfit right there. That, and then with the the MAGA hat as well, um, which also if, are people still wearing MAGA hats? Yes. Like, that's sad. My thing is, see, now people, if you're still adamantly pro-trump and all these things like if you're a republican like that's not the end of the world right I, i'm sure we could still have a civilized conversation i think if you're still on the cycle of life where you think trump wasn't wrong at anything he's done at this point in his life and you're still like i love trump i love him he's gonna be my president next i won't kiss him i, I, I will kiss him right, right on the lips i love him um i think those people and kanye included are probably the most insane unhinged human beings and the fact that they have a right to vote is very disturbing because um that's a cult too that is 100 percent a cult if you're part of that and once again i will say this and i will say this to my last days there are two people in this world that can avoid controversy with anything they could literally slap a baby and that is donald trump and ezra miller thank you very much not slap a baby i'm telling you if donald trump could straight up drop kick a baby and his fans, his people, his supporters would be like, that baby probably had it coming. They were super left-leaning liberals. Um, and that's what happens. Oh, anyway. You know who, you know what is not controversial today? What? The chopper. <laughs> the chopper. We're going to be checking in with Leslie Gallagher once again. Hello, Leslie. What's going on? Because half of my team is not, well, half of Hi, our team is not in studio. <laughs> What is up? And Victor is well. Team Victor. Is hey, wait, is this mic on? We have yeah, so many people up. chanting out here. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna go in the streets. Hey, in the streets, hey, in the streets. I hope you can hear me. Victor's doing We're on in the, the streets fly. by now. You know, you guys. Hey, hey, the, the, the mic. the streets. Woo. Everybody say hi to the morning buzz. The morning buzz. This is so cute. The morning buzz. Honestly, it is. Aww. Look at do all the that. For the bus. Do the champ for the bus. Look at that natural. Sound. I wanted them to do the champ for y'all. Wow. Don't do the Ow! Bus! Morning bus! Morning bus! Morning bus! Morning bus! Morning bus! Morning bus! Look how much love we have for I you. know. I got a champ. Isaiah! Let's give it up for Lars everybody in the house Woo! that gave me some serotonin that i just honestly so there's been a few times i feel like i've been speechless on the program i think that was one of them for about an hour out here we've been doing that chant so is the chopper still that there is kaminsky and halal up there Ooh. oh wait let me get back on chopper watch chopper. The chopper i think chopper. the chopper has flown away oh thank you wait it, it hasn't watch. flown away it's it's us. right here everyone <laughs> as it flies again over the show. on facebook 
Isaiah is just holding up a lovely photo of our chopper. It's <laughs> literally live. Like, it's not Google Chrome. That's not, that's no, not the chopper, Isaiah. It 100% oh, is the chopper. chopper. Um, no, the chopper flew away. Oh, yeah. The chopper did fly away. Thank oh, you guys man. for the wonderful check-in. Anyways, also, that's our update for now. Thank yes. you, Laura and Isaiah. Thank I you, hope you like Wow. Bye. So beautiful. We're going to kick it back to some weird news, Isaiah. So, oh, lovely. Autobots roll out. Ooh. Elon Musk is trying to end human civilization after the debut of a new Tesla products. It's an AI. Oh my. A humanoid robot prototype, Ominous, made an incredibly scary debut as it slowly made its WWE like entrance on the stage at the big event. Now, what is the purpose of making a humanoid robot? According to Musk, he and the Tesla team have designed the future world endeavors to help with production and help human civilization with the task believed to be too boring or too dangerous. Okay. The crazy thing. <laughs> okay. The crazy billionaire predicted that electric car would make would make it easier to produce millions of hold the phone. I'm just so I'm mm. being thrown for a loop right now. The crazy billionaire predicted the electric car maker would be able to produce millions of robots and sell them for less than a third of the price of its Model Y SUV. The five foot eight robot was a was the first robot to operate without a tether. Musk said he was expected he expected Tesla to be ready to take orders for the robot in three to five years, but that more work needed to be done. The Tesla CEO described an effort to develop the robots over a decade decade or more giving the most detailed version to date on a business he said could be bigger than tesla's electric vehicle revenue the the robot running with the same hardware makeup as tesla's autopilot system is fully equipped with advanced human-like qualities the robot is believed to do everything that a human brain does processing vision data making split second decisions on sensory inputs and also communications you guys, I think, have we never seen any <clears throat> dystopian movie ever? This is just so wrong on so many levels. Um, because once again, like you said it, how many times have we been warned in movies? Terminator, iRobot, literally Transformers 2. You think I trust the Decepticons? Much less something called Optimus? Like, what is going on? We cannot let these rich people develop robots because that is a problem that is disturbing and if i know anything i would get smoked by a robot on site i'm not going to be able to fight a robot that thing's got strength that thing's got technology and i can't even see i need glasses to see this thing's a robot there's no way i can, I can tell you what is going on right now i am back in studio with Gabby we got people Watts, in studio Amanda Gettyosi, and terry dickerson oh my gosh hello we're talking about elon musk and oh, robots. Musk, my king. Yeah. yeah, he's got four kids now. He's like, Joke. He's do you guys, I'm trying to get wait, uh, off to lie. Topic, off topic, some money. Off topic, but do you guys think I can get Elon Musk as my sugar daddy? Mm. Mm. I, I would love that. I'm thinking the same thing, girl. What would your pitch be? Hey. Uh, <laughs> hey, send me a Tesla. Hey. I sometimes <laughs> dress like an alt girl, and I think you're into that. Do you want to be my sugar daddy? I'd be like, she's can, like, I'm slightly mentally. I'd be like, you could change my name to X Y three. Yeah. Okay. Why do I feel mm. like that would work though, Lara? Like, I feel like that would work. I mean, if he'll pay for my like, college, I'm hey. willing to work. get my child after a string of code. Please help me. <laughs> you know what? I have a theory. <laughs> I, I that. would. I would do that too. <laughs> I would do that. I have a big theory that Elon Musk's child's name is a code name because he doesn't want to re reveal like mm. the child's actual name to code name kids next door yeah, i think so. the kid's a robot there's no way it's a real kid i don't buy it one bit there's no way no. grimes you know grew it and birthed it i don't know i don't buy it at all i 100 percent. i don't even think elon's real at this point <laughs> I, think he is fake. Fake. I think he died 20 years ago and he's been a robot ever since i'm just saying this story is disturbing and i'm gonna watch my back man i'm gonna get rid of siri because i can't be trusting ai and all that stuff it knows too much about me knows where i live and the, uh, to be a, a robot that's five foot eight you and you can buy it him, if you can't fight him join him how do i join the robots they're gonna know I'm not a robot. 
Well, if no, you they're do not. a little, not if you little practice. robot dance, you know what I'm saying? What a little beep beep boop beep. You're right. You're right. And I think you'll be okay. Ugh. I'm going to try, guys. I'm going to try my best. Keep us try, guys. I was, oh. I was just. Oh, nice. Keep, Keep, Keep us up soon. Too so- <laughs> we have some more news for you. Cheated on my wife. Sorry. Oh. Guys, woo! We're going to be playing some more special, special shout outs from our alumni. We're going to play our former station manager, Kate Bronstein, because why not? I'm Kate Bronstein, former station manager of 90.3 WMSC, and I graduated in 2019. I would say my favorite memory of College Radio Day was running it for the first time as station manager as a senior. And just the craziness and the hustle and bustle of it all, it really made me feel like a leader. And I think that's what College Radio does for everybody. I'm going to play another one because these just really make me happy we i don't know what else i want to play i don't know what else i want to play you guys i don't know i don't know i want to play another one have we played one yeah we played one have we played Alyssa? no let's play Alyssa. hi my name is Alyssa salvato and i am one of the previous digital marketing directors from wmsc radio I would say that one of my favorite World College Radio Day memories is the marathon itself. At the time, I remember a bunch of my friends had had shows that were back to back. So some shows I was on, others I was just listening to. But mind you, these shows were going from the night before to like the morning after. So we were pulling all nighters and there was just so much love and support. And though it was like complete chaos to try and pull those all-nighters and there were people taking in naps wherever they could, whenever they could, there was not a moment that any of us would have traded. I also, this is going to be the last one I play, I promise. But I also, we have two from Frankie. So we're going to play, we're going to hear Frankie's favorite memory of World College Radio Day. My favorite college radio story has to be the one where we made an alternative rendition to the Nightmare Before Christmas's What's This? We did a whole bit. We put it on WMSC social media. It was one of the greatest moments of my entire life. Got to play around a little bit on the campus. Got to run into the School of Communications. And we got to promo one of the greatest days of the entire year. It was so much fun. And I hope you guys are making memories just like I did back in the day. Again, a very special thank you to all of our alumni that have sent out and sent me and our general manager some wonderful shout outs. But for probably the last time for introducing everybody, I'm your host, Lars McCarty. I've been sitting in this chair for three hours and I loved every minute of it. We also have Victor Muniz, who's now in studio. Yes, I'm in studio after the karaoke and everything. I needed to take a Victor. sit down. I got I needed to sit down. Where, and now I'm here. You know, where's Waldo? Where's Victor? Where's Victor? I was in the golf cart. I was, you know, you know, saying hi to the shopper and whippy whip around campus. Yes, yeah, that was fun. That was really it fun, was especially fun. singing a duet with Cam. It was an honor. It's beautiful. We heard <laughs> a little bit of it. You're very talented. Thank it was, you. and Thank if we so do much. get copyrighted, it was worth it. it, was so worth it. it. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Of course, we also have my Friday co-host Amanda Gideosi. Howdy, howdy. And we also have the host slash co-host of Tuesday, Terry Dickerson, in studio. And we have Lauren in spirit somewhere in the room. I don't know where she is, but. If you want, please stay tuned to the scene, which is in five minutes, right after the morning buzz. But we're going to kick it for one last time to our friends over at the ent- at, over outside of the School of Common Media. We have Leslie Gallagher and we have Jake Getz outside. Yes, yes. It's Thank true. you so much, Laura. We're outside. Nice, calm Friday, beautiful weather, like I said. People going to class. That's our update for now. We're just chilling outside, excited for the scene and all the stuff we've got planned for today. Hmm. Very, very fun. Very, very fresh. Uh, do you guys have any closing thoughts? 
the bus has been wonderful yeah especially when the helicopter came although jake did miss it i'm, I'm sure i'm sure it was incredible <laughs> it was incredible the energy out here has been outstanding especially from being here at 6 and 7 a.m so thank you to everyone who came out and hope to keep up the energy throughout the rest of world college radio day thank you guys so much for staying camped outside uh the school of calm we really appreciate literally literally you victor yeah jt leslie mike J jt just jake everybody, everybody for making this day as special as it was mm -hmm. so thank you guys for that lovely lovely update we i will see you guys after the show and hopefully on air later too Ooh. for senior send off you guys you guys we have about three minutes left here in the morning buzz it's mm -hmm. currently 9 57 a.m and right now it's 63 degrees outside and it is beautiful a beautiful day Isn't it? for college radio Very beautiful and a beautiful day for college stations around the world to get brought together mm. and the theme being voices for peace this year is just such an i think it's a great theme mm -hmm. just because it, again not only does World College Radio Day bring people together, peace brings people together. Of course. But and also hard times ahead. bring people together. Re that's real. That that's is. very real. And especially with us as future media producers and stuff, it's good to instill the fact that we have to utilize our platforms to not only create content, entertain people, and get inform people, but it's also to bring people together to recognize that we're all the same from different walks of life, but we're all on this earth for a reason and that being that we have a platform we have to use it for good so spreading that message of peace love respect especially in these really really hard times is just something that i am really proud of us for really spearheading this entire year because we need some we can need some goodness in the world we need some happiness we need some love and we need some peace and if even us as college students here on world college radio day if we can educate people just a little bit more today if we can bring people together a little bit more today i think we're better for it so i'm really happy yes. i definitely agree Agreed. and honestly i hate saying this i'm kind of glad the board in studio a doesn't work because we get this beautiful view of just the skyline and sometimes i wish calm. this was studio a because yeah. it's so pretty especially being so close to the city it's a reminder mm -hmm. of where the goal is you know what i mean it's also a really pretty sure. view it's, a reminder it's very roomy in here too yeah, it's a reminder of where the goal is but also to remember where we are right now real yes and we are here <laughs> we are here at montclair state university on our beautiful beautiful campus celebrating world college radio day i know it's very it's a very fun special time it's just really funny because if you told me a year ago i would be hosting the morning show on this mm. very special day i would not believe you for a hot minute i i feel that if you told me a semester ago that i would be sitting here with y'all and having such a fun time i think i would laugh hey if you told me a year ago i was gonna be in new jersey <laughs> i was not <laughs> I, was, I was in a completely different place in puerto rico so like now i'm here enjoying the company of the radio station and everybody here at Montclair State. So I think that's just the beauty of time and just living is you don't know where you're going and you don't really know what ha what's happening next. Exactly. And yeah, for sure. I mean, it's crazy how last year none of us were here. Now all of us look at us. We're all in here. We're all in here. We're all college radio day, having such a fantastic time. Like radio really brought us all together and it's really super did. awesome. And here on 90.3 WMSC Upper Montclair, this has been the morning buzz and us and college stations around the world are with Ukraine and we are, we are the voices for peace. Yes. We're going to let that top of the hour play. And I'm picking out a very special song for you guys. This is again from my favorite album because I'm biased. This is going that you're going to be hearing sing by My Chemical Romance. So thank you for tuning in and happy World College Radio Day, everybody. Bye. Bye.